Thank you very much, well, Pre President Zelensky. Thank you, Volodymyr. Thank you for welcoming us all to your magnificent uh, Marinsky Palace here. That's absolutely fantastic to be back in, in Kiev and to, and to see the, the, the excitement, the buzz of uh, this capital, which uh, has changed a lot, and uh, I must say, since I was last here uh, five uh, years ago, I, I think, and uh, in, in many uh, interesting and, and, and positive ways. But we have to face a, a grim reality, which is that uh, as we stand here, uh, Volodymyr, uh, today more than 100,000 Russian troops are gathering on your border in perhaps the biggest demonstration of hostility towards Ukraine in our lifetimes. And the potential deployment dwarfs the 30,000 troops that Russia sent to invade uh, Crimea in 2014. Uh, since that time, of course, as everybody knows, 13,000 Ukrainians have been killed and Ukraine has been plunged into nearly a decade of war. It goes without saying that a further Russian invasion of Ukraine would be a political disaster, a humanitarian disaster. In my view, it would also be, for Russia, for the world, a military disaster as well. And uh, it, uh, the uh, potential invasion completely uh, flies in the face of President Putin's claims to be acting in the interests of the Ukrainian people. The UK and other countries will be judged by the people of Ukraine and the world on how we respond and how we help. Since 2015, the UK has trained over 22,000 Ukrainian military personnel and provided £2.2 million worth of non-lethal military equipment to Ukraine. Two weeks ago, we sent anti-tank weaponry to strengthen Ukraine's defences further. And today, I've announced a further £88 million of UK funding to support good governance and energy independence in Ukraine. This will both bolster your efforts, Volodymyr, and those of others to build a free and prosperous Ukrainian society free of malign influences. Alongside other countries, we are also preparing a package of sanctions and other measures to be enacted the moment the first Russian toe cap crosses further into Ukrainian territory. And we have done all this and prepared all this, not as a show of hostility towards Russia, but as a demonstration that we will always stand up for freedom and democracy and Ukrainian sovereignty in the face of aggression. In recent days, I've spoken to the leaders of the United States, France, Germany, Italy, uh, the NATO Secretary General and others, all agree on the fundamental importance of supporting Ukraine's self-determination. Because the people of Ukraine have the inalienable right to choose how they are governed and, indeed, which organisations they aspire to join. And as your friend and partner, the UK will always uphold that right. It is vital that Russia steps back and chooses a path of diplomacy, and I believe that is still possible. We are keen to engage in dialogue. Of course we are, but we have the sanctions ready, we're providing military support, and we will also intensify our economic cooperation, because we are a firm and enduring ally of Ukraine and a supporter of Ukraine's territorial sovereignty and integrity. Thank you all very much.